Are you a young, talented, and skilled person? Are you hardworking? Or do you have an entrepreneurial X factor? Then Horizon is the place for you. Horizon is a fast of a kind video broadcast that showcases talented and skilled young people with amazingly impressive entrepreneurial X factors within. Whether through talent or brilliant ideas, at Horizon, we believe that you have the ability to inspire many people around the globe and effectively encourage them to use their God given potential to transform form themselves, their communities, and thousands of lives. This amazing show rotates around opening young minds to new ideas, chances, possible hobbies, and passions other than the everyday obvious life paths. To all that wish to be inspired, do not miss to catch this show, which airs every last Friday of the month on our YouTube platform, Horizon. Horizon is presented by eMoments. The future isn't just a future anymore. It's an era. Hi guys, welcome to the first ever episode of Horizon where you meet the sky. I am so excited to be doing this and to be premiering this with you guys. And today I'm here with Angela Bukira. She'll introduce herself in her full capacity. She's an amazing person. We only do great things here. We are at Horizon where you meet the sky. Please, Angela. Introduce Hi yourself. everyone, I'm Bukira Angela. I'm a software engineering student at Macquarie University. I'm excited to be part of this. Uh, looking forward to sharing now. You know, the big question here today, Angela, is what inspired you to be part or to take part into financial technology? You mentioned you're a software engineer and you're doing a lot in this sector. Oh, so as software engineers in our first ages, that is year one, yeah. it's a matter of exploring different sectors, fields, seeing where you can belong. It's not about only coding. So in my I think second year, that was the COVID time, I decided to explore more about financial technology. So uh, there was this program by High People. Um, we were a team of four and we had an idea in the making. So they needed someone who had a little bit of skills at normal programming, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We actually were so abstract about the program, we, don't, we didn't know what would like transfer our heads were all in for coding let's go and do this it's a boot camp and all and all but with time we were shocked when we reached with our first idea our first idea was Mpampe a crowdfunding platform we joined the rest of the team there was a lot of pressure sweating ah, it was just a life-changing time for us because as programmers we always code under the hoods and this time it was different we had to face the world we had to tell people what we do and not actually just provide a solution. It was quite challenging for me because cameras... It's not a nice thing, <laughs> no, but no, you no. are facing these cameras right now. <laughs> so congratulations. Yeah, thank now, you so um, much. Now, you've mentioned high people, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And high people, you were part of something you thought was a boot camp, which I'm yeah. assuming is the Women in FinTech Hackathon. Yes, um, you were there for two seasons. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. So could you briefly share with us do you think that this initiative from high people is something that's valid for the fintech sector and for women or it's just air? Oh yes, of course. Me coming back for the second time, it was the grid, the grid to achieve more because my first time here, I actually gained a lot. It was beyond the coding because that was my first expectation. What are some of the things that go beyond the coding? What's, it, what's so oh. special about that thing? What's so special about the place? What, you went for coding, but what did you find? Oh, coding? It's interesting, but here at High People, they give you platform. They give you skills, communication skills. You don't have to hide what your idea is. You have to think out loud and provide solutions to problems in the world. Okay. Um, I would like to just briefly know, what do you think or what are you doing specifically in the fintech sector? You mentioned that you, you did a product during the hackathon, Pampe. Yes. Please explain Pampe. Describe it. I don't know. It sounds like something Ugandan, but like, you know, <laughs> the vibe. Yeah. Okay, Mpampe in our local language, it means give me, I, be, I give back. It's Mpa Mpe. It's a crowdfunding platform. We, we designed this to help out people who face challenges during the COVID time. Uh, people around the world face problems. They can't raise enough funds. So as, as us, students, we came up with this solution so that we provide a transparent way of raising funds from people within our communities beyond our scopes because most times what happens is someone sends a WhatsApp, help me contribute to that, or there is a Twitter hashtag everywhere, but yeah. we want to create a platform 
tailored for Ugandans so that they reach out wherever possible to have their issues solved. I hope you're going to have people's issues solved using Horizon and Park. <laughs> now, um, what advice? It seems like you went through a very long process to reach where you are right now. Yeah, you yeah. are on at Horizon, <laughs> and it's something very spectacular, phenomenal, amazing. I can't. I can describe a lot of things. What advice do you have for people? those who aspire to be like you but are not where you are right now? Okay, one thing I have to tell to the youth or people out there is that be yourself. Go for, be a go-getter. Be yourself. Yeah, I be myself. A <laughs> <laughs> be a go-getter in that uh, sometimes we are crowded or covered in our fears that maybe you can't talk to people, you feel like you can't do this. It's just your mind playing around with you. Just speak out. So what you what you do, what you get to do, someone will just vibe along. You get. Yeah. 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 Now, if you were to describe yourself in three words, like right now, I could describe myself and say, yeah, I am like color pink in one <laughs> word, yes, and blonde in another word, and yeah, just going on here. Yes, what would those three words be? Okay, one sunshine. That's my nickname. Yeah. Cause everywhere I go. Yeah, I stand out. The color, yeah? <laughs> yeah, the color too. Uh, I'm extremely like hardworking. If I set my mind to something, to achieve something, I will stick on it, whether what, whether what, and I get Cook it done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the word. Okay, those were two. Are those, are those three? Oh, three. I'm intelligent. Yeah. You're intelli okay, yeah. yes, you're yeah. intelligent. <laughs> Nobody does software engineering, financial technology without being intelligent. True. I aspire to be like you, Monday. Aww. Though you should aspire to be like me in this Aww. sector. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All um, of us. So, um, you do financial technology. And the world is moving day in, day out. You face different things. Technology is moving. Fintechs are moving. But would you describe or say the world is getting better from how it was in the past? Yeah, as people say, evolution. Yeah. If you don't evolve with what is happening around you, you always stay aback. So technology is moving so fast to the point that people are losing jobs because they are not fitting into what is happening right now. We have AI, we have what? So as us people who are doing technology, you have to think fast and go beyond the basic HTML you get the coding. Yeah, so it. you have to be smarter than the AI, think outside the box, box so that you fit in. Or else you're going to end up like Terminator. Oh. Now, now <laughs> yes, because AI, is, they are growing yeah. according to what I've heard. Mm. And uh, I want to take you a bit away from the technology. Reason being, there are very many people and many teens, teenagers, mm -hmm. young children who are going into different places, true, true, different true. levels of education. Mm -hmm. I am one of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, and <laughs> on this platform, we talk about different things, the scenarios, the problems, the challenges, trying to find solutions for us, okay. us the kind of people. Yeah, true, true. Now, you're in campus, you're doing the last year? Yeah, yeah. Yes, last year. Yeah. So you've been through it. Ah. Now, <laughs> <laughs> for those who are coming from like senior six, and they're joining campus, what advice would you give them or what would you say they should come with the character, the spirit, or the things they should be skeptical of because this is a whole new world and we've had stories of different things happening to different people from different schools as they come to campus. How is campus like? Okay, I'll respond to this from my perspective. Uh, basing on what I expected in campus versus what I found actually in campus. What did you find? So Tell us. First of all, my journey to, yeah. to join in for software engineering actually didn't know. I didn't know what software engineering was. So there is that, pi that point in time, the sieve from senior six to campus. You don't know what you want to be, but now it's the point that you have that will de define where you'll be. Mm. So I was among that sieve of what I had to offer is what I had to go with. So I reached campus with a very open mind. I just, had, I just wanted to explore everything and understand what exactly I'm doing. So one thing, I understand maybe you get that course and you don't like it. Like try to explore your course and understand what am I doing? What, the, what impact can I make to the world? It's not about books as it was in senior six that you have to get the A, you have to get the B. This is beyond that, you have to get the skill. Yeah, the skill, move around, check out people, what they are doing out there, join hackathons, like, yeah, here, yeah, high people, because it gives you better exposure. It's not about getting the marks, it's about putting something on the table, yeah. And enjoyment, <laughs> please. Enjoy. You don't, you don't have any other second time of 
your age. Yes. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to go back to the topic of financial technology because, I mean, mm -hmm. we are here for that, yeah? <laughs> now, the question is, where do you see yourself in the longest time period possible or the shortest one? I don't know, it depends on you, but me, I'm counting like 10 years from now. What do you see yourself doing? Where do you see yourself? Do you say, oh God, I'm going to own this tall building, it's oh a company? Yeah, where do you see All yourself? All right, okay, from my experience, uh, from uh, my mentors of high people, in 10 years from now, I expect to be a CEO of mm. maybe like two companies okay. or three okay. and more, <laughs> and to be more in charge of what is happening around the world, like more in technology, inspiring other people to join into the, the sector. Uh, like, uh, for example, right now we have, you can check out the site, it's at mpampe.com, uh, the crowdfunding platform I talked about earlier. Also, we have another product called mtegeka, still locally tailored, it means mama tegeka. Uh, it's tailored for pregnant women. Uh, it's a platform where pregnant women will be able to subscribe to packages, that is the maternity packages for a given period of time. You'll be able to access baby products. Yeah, as I'm saying, I want to be a CEO <laughs> of very many things. Just, wow. Yeah. Big ideas, big ideology here at your island. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Now, um, in conclusion, as we end this, but it's not the end, it's just the beginning. <laughs> yes. We plan to see you again here sometime. Oh. You are doing bigger things, being a CEO of maybe one or two companies mm -hmm. by then. Okay. Now, do you think technology, more so basing on financial technology, is where is it taking the world where do you think the world is going with financial technology where do you think you see the world how far can you throw the stone where do you see the world okay i can't years from now? i may not be able to throw the stone yeah. <laughs> exactly to where it will be yeah. but i feel like since everything is uh more of uh, technology and diversing so fast i see like the future we won't be able to make okay i feel like it's relevant for us to phase out the physical money, physical papers, everything will be like more of digital transactions, uh, using your cards. Yeah, basically that's it. Okay, I will just ask you one more question, then we can wrap this up and, you know, yeah. The question will be, is technology a necessity? Oh yeah, Is yes. it a necessity? Oh, we are using technology. You know what technology <laughs> is. Can yeah. you define technology? <laughs> Necessity. <laughs> can you define technology? Because I feel like I can define technology. But now, okay, we've learned technology because technology is a way of doing things better, true, true. Easier, easier. But is financial technology mm. a necessity uh, in my life, in your life, mm. in his life, right there? I don't know. Is it a necessity? Yes. As technology is a necessity, and so is financial technology. In that, I'm, I'll give uh, a scenario. Like I'm right here and maybe my mom is in Entebbe right now and we have like, I don't have to go through that hassle, that hurdle of worrying about the money I'm going to send to her, like yeah. for you. So we shall just use financial technology, incorporate it in the applications we have so that we have that easily done. Still for Mpampe as a crowdfunding platform, you know we are dealing with money, we are dealing with cash. It's not physical, it's extremely electronic. So people are going to be making those transactions using steel technology. Yeah. Yeah. So it's relevant everywhere it's relevant. from the supermarket. So Angela, um, as you know, there are different kinds of clubs in secondary school true, and true. even primary schools. I don't know about necessary, necessary <laughs> but of course those ones. Ah, the scouts. And, yeah. <laughs> yes. And we know that these clubs have different roles. They help in different ways. And I just wanted to ask, are there any like associations or clubs similar to those in secondary? in campus that help support your initiative, what you do, what people like you who are aspiring to be software engineers mm -hmm. can engage in or help them. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Macquarie University, I was part of the Google Developer Student Club among the committee members. So yeah. we basically organize mm -hmm. events uh, helping out students understand the programming, uh, away from the programming, problem solving. So as Macare is still under that club, it's just a platform that helps us put out our, our ideas so that we compete internationally. Yeah. So uh, we took part in the Google Solution Challenge, where still Mpampe... When I hear people, <laughs> I hear great things. Yeah, those are only great things. Yeah. Where still Mpampe was among the top 50 worldwide. Okay, yeah. that was 
great uplifting for us because we understood that our solution is valid and it can compete internationally. Yeah. Okay. So um, speaking of Mpampe, I, I don't know, but I've seen it. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And I think I saw it in one newspaper. Was oh, it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You received money? Oh, yeah, from yeah. From MTA? Yeah, yeah we, we were the second runner ups, Momo okay. Hackathon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's beautiful. Only great things. I don't know. I've met you. Your team must be amazing, ph oh, phenomenal okay. people. True, true, that's true. just wow. Mm -hmm. And. I remember I forgot to ask you what's your favorite thing about financial technology like what do you believe if they gave me this yes I know I can do this I just love this aspect about financial technology what is it okay as a developer what I can cling on right now it's uh, the APIs you love the APIs yeah I love the APIs they're How smooth, they work eh? yeah, things connect okay, okay. <laughs> yeah I'd like to say it's been a pleasure having you today Thank on your you. Horizon. I, you. I don't know how I could have done this without you. Like Aww. this is the first shot ever. <laughs> this is just amazing. And we're here today at Horizon. And one could say, what is Horizon? Well, Horizon is where you meet the sky. Horizon is a platform that helps and supports the youth, gives us inside view of what we would not think about in our ordinary day lives, gives us new access, ideas to new hobbies new skills, new career paths, because most times people tend to think it's only about the doctor, the engineer, you don't even know what engineer you want to be, it's only about the lawyer, but it's not. There are a lot of other things, greater things that are waiting. And we are here at Horizon, where you meet the sky. And I can't wait to meet the sky with all the people we are going to be talking to during our simple and short interviews. Thank you so much, Angela. I don't know if you have anything to say Hi. to the viewers, but... It's been great having you. Oh, thank you for having me here today. Uh, looking forward to more of Horizon. And this is a great initiative. Okay, guys. See you in our next episode at Horizon, where you meet the sky. Do not miss to catch this show, which airs every last Friday of the month on our YouTube platform, Horizon. Horizon is presented by eMoments.